Yo, what's good everybody? I am back here with another My Team video. And in this video, we've got Scotty Barnes. Six foot eight. Alright, I thought he's six foot nine. But Scotty Barnes is six foot eight. His player build is a lot taller. Like he should be like six ten, six eleven in game. Seven foot two wingspan. 93 ball, 90 dunk, 90 ball handle. I mean, that's crazy defense. 95 speed. He can also play point guard. Uh, Hoff bully, Hoff limitless takeoff, Hoff clamp breaker, quick first step anchor, gloves, clamp, menace. This might be the best defensive point guard in the game. Uh, gold blinders, gold agent threes, gold catch and shoot, limitless range. This might be one of the best cards in the game. He's already the best point guard. And it's crazy, a week after Gary Payton came out, that Scotty Barnes is already better than him. Um, but he is. So, let's see what Scotty can do. Jump shot is Scotty Barnes on very quick. It's pretty fast. Oh, well, it's not super fast, but it is faster than I expected it was going to be. I mean, it's elite, though. It's absolutely elite. Scotty Barnes on very quick. Let's see what his other animations are. He has normal leaner, which is crazy. So he's basically... Oh my gosh, yeah. He's basically a prime. 6'9". Um, but he's probably better. I mean, he can do everything. His Q is really easy on his jumper. This card is ridiculous, man. Oh, yeah, I got it down. You can, I mean, if you look at his wrist, you can tell when he's going to release it in a way. Um, his dribble sigs, Michael Jordan, dribble style, elite motion style, which is defense, I'm pretty sure. Oh, yeah, this card is nice. It's butter. Kobe moving crossover, Dame behind the back, which I'm pretty sure is good. Yeah, that's pretty good. I mean, he's just going to blow by a lot of people. He's got Penny Hardaway moving spin. Let me see what that is. That's the spin jumper. What about the moving spin? Can I do a spin move? Oh my gosh, that's fire. Yeah, let's get into a clutch time game and uh, see how he performs because right now he's over 100K, so it's pretty crazy. That's pretty crazy that he's over 100K for a Galaxy Opal card. Let's see, sold clay. Almost at 200K right now. Um, let's get into a clutch time online game. Put him at point. And run Jared Sullinger right next to him. Out of position set crazy. It's what, middle of the March? Middle of March? I'm pretty sure that it comes out anyways during this time. We got no Pat Burke though for St. Patrick's Day. I honestly forgot it was St. Patrick's Day. Um, but I mean, 2K's just got to do a, a better things with how... They're running my team this year. It's just been the worst, I think, since probably the worst they've ever ran it in modern uh, my team history since it's transformed into this kind of like a uh, year round thing. Like every day we get something to do type stuff. It sucks, but at the end of the day, it is what it is, man. It is what it is. Let's see if we can get something going with Scotty, though. Playing. Dame, MJ, Michael Jordan, Roy Hachimura. Oh my gosh. This is a starter squad. All right. Here we go. This should be a, a pretty fun game. All right, Scotty. Got the AI on us. Step back for three. First shot, no good. I tend to struggle a lot in these gameplays. Shoot that Lena right there. Oh damn. See, that's what I'm talking about. I'm already 0 for 2 with Scotty. Dame goes up. Blocked by Scotty, though. That's what he can always do. Even if you're not hitting jump shots with him, he's an elite defender. For three there. And that one's money. So Scotty off to a good start defensively, and then he gets his first shot right there. He's definitely point guard one in my opinion. I mean, Lamelo might be point guard one. Lamelo's definitely got the better jump shot. It's not even close. Um, but I don't know. This is probably the best card I've used all year. 
Oh yeah, Scotty. Step back. Oh, how did I miss that? I have no idea how I missed that. LeBron almost shot it. Oh my gosh. This dude is actually garbage. Oh, I did not mean to shoot that. I was trying to pump fake it. Let's see what he's like going to the rim. Scotty fouled. Let's see what that free throw is though. Is this guy gonna quit? What is this guy doing? Making adjustments, maybe? I don't know. I mean, who is better than Scotty though? Is LaMelo better than Scotty? Can I compare Scotty real quick? To LaMelo Ball. Uh, LaMelo is 6'7 with a 6'10 wingspan. Weighs 40 less pounds, but this LaMelo Ball has 30 Hall of Fame badges. Oh my gosh. And he's got less total stats than Scotty, though, which is crazy. So you get the first one to fall. Uh, what are their animations looking like? I know LaMelo Ball released probably one of the... Oh, my gosh. Sure, I'm the hell of it. One of the, probably one of the best releases in the game, if not the best release in the game. And Macau gets a steal there. And then MJ gets a steal. Dame for three? No. All right, Scotty. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I don't know what I'm doing on that possession. That's why I hate clutch time low key. It's just, it's more convenient for 5v5 gameplay to show off how good a card is in clutch time. But again, the shot clock is at 14. David Robinson blocked by Scotty. And somehow he didn't get a shot clock violation. Kind of crazy. Hit that one, Scotty. Yes, sir. His jumper is a little slow, though. I'll probably say, in terms of defense, he's probably the best point guard in the game. And then Gary Payton's probably number two. I don't know how LaMelo defends TBH. Let's take that one right there. Oh, damn, we break the hell out of that one. His jump shot is slow, and it, it's kind of throwing my throwing off my rhythm. So offensively, oh, wow. I haven't used LaMelo, like I said. I'm pretty sure Lamelo's better. Holy shit! Yeah, his jumper was really slow, and now it's really fast all of a sudden. Mid range. Oh my gosh, that was basically over the backboard. Yeah, his defense is ridiculous, bro. I mean, he's six foot nine or six foot eight. Should be six nine though. Good contest. We're out and running, looking for Scotty. Let's take another leaner. No, I missed it. Good board, Jared Sellinger. Number three. Oh my gosh. His release is hard to get used to, though. That one's money, though. Finally. So, he's got 12. Should get a steal right there. Wow. Should have been a steal. Scotty again. No. Oh my gosh. Do you know? Oh, it's a terrible shot. I'm just chucking up bad shots with him, but you know this card is elite. I uh, probably will be doing like player review type of videos, maybe. Like on the more underrated cards, because like a five minute gameplay of a card is not the best way to show it. But, you know, maybe I'll, like, capture a bunch of clips of a card doing good, like what he does good and stuff like that. Um, but then again, you know, you want to kind of get these gameplay videos out while the cards are, like, fresh and new. As Dame fouls us right there. But, yeah, this card probably going to be in my lineup for a while. I'm probably going to sell him after this video because of how high his price is. And I know eventually he'll be a buy now. But, I mean, he's a really good card. He's lengthy. You see how big his build is. His player build is. Just double team in here. And we get the steal. That was crazy. I knew he was looking for Dame because we were leaving Dame open. Got him on our back for three. Yes, sir. All right, so he can crab people and hit threes. His release is really not that bad. I just got to get used to it. 
But he's pretty insane. And Macau gets a steal. Scotty, let's just do a pull up three. No. Not gonna fall. LeBron for three now. Oh my gosh, look at that board by Scotty, bro. Stop pot from four. Oh. At the buzzer. Good contest by LeBron. Scotty 17 0 this guy who is not good at all and had a terrible team. But, I mean, you can tell this Scotty card is elite. And I think he's probably a top three point guard. If not, uh, I shouldn't say the best point guard in the game. I don't know, because I've never used LaMelo. I've used Gary Payton. I know Gary Payton's really good, especially for his size. He's crazy. But I'm just going with top three, and he's definitely the best defender. He's definitely the best point guard defender in the game. I wonder how good that Jimmy is, though. That's a real question. I forgot about that card. Can we get Danny Ferry, though? The GOAT Danny Ferry? No, it doesn't look like we're going to get him. How about two tokens? Nice. But yeah, that'll uh, basically be the video, and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. I think I'll be trying to get a uh, Luke Walton gameplay out soon, but yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.